The pop punk revival is in full swing, but not everyone knows that SoundCloud rappers have been making trap infused pop punk for years. But now that the mainstream is interested in pop punk again, SoundCloud rappers are going even harder, firing on all cylinders, pumping out pop punk tracks week after week. And some of them are dropping fire that is even hotter than recent material from our favorite pop punk bands. Hi, I'm Evan, and today I'm gonna to be giving you the top 10 pop punk songs by SoundCloud rappers. So what I'm referring to by SoundCloud rap is this wave of darker alternative hip hop, kind of led by Juice World, Lil Peep, XXXTentacion, rest in peace to all of them. And whether you knew it or not, SoundCloud rap actually helped to sow the seeds of the pop punk revival. So now it is time to reap the harvest. I have personally picked the 10 best ones that I could find, and I'm gonna give them to you right now. So let's get into it. Kicking this list off at number 10, we have Hanging With Ghosts by Young Pinch featuring Good Charlotte and Goody Grace. Now the verses of the song are not super pop punk, but that chorus is just a chill, super catchy pop punk chorus sung by none other than Billy Martin of Good Charlotte. We also got a nice Goody Grace feature in there who does some pop punk stuff of his own occasionally. I'd say the song is like the perfect bridge between SoundCloud rap and the pop punk worlds. Moving on to number nine, we got Girl Next Door by Lil Lotus featuring Lil Aaron. Fell in love with the girl next door. This is a very cool, upbeat, pop punk song by two emo rappers. It's very catchy, great summer vibes. It's kind of in a similar vein to stuff that like MGK and Modson have been putting out in the last year. All right, moving on to number eight, we got Hills Have Eyes by Poor Stacy, produced by Travis Barker. All right, Poor Stacey's got a pretty unique style with like lower auto-tuned vocals over dancey rock music. It's not something that I usually listen to, so definitely had to grow on me. Let me tell you, this is a very, very fun song. Like, you gotta move to this one. You'd be doing yourself a disservice if you just only sit there and listen to it. And at number seven, we got Lonely Tonight by Chad Tepper. Now, yes, he was a part of Jake Paul's like collab YouTube channel called Team 10. He started 2017, left 2018. That same year, he began his music career on SoundCloud with actually pretty little attention. I mean, to this day, he only has three comments on his first song. So I guess what I'm saying is I don't think he's an industry plant or anything. He really did have to play in the underground SoundCloud scene. But anyways, back to the song. It is a very super catchy, vibrant pop punk song. And the second verse, he goes full neon pop punk, and I'm so here for it. And at number six, we got Pretend by Nothing Nowhere. It starts out in his classic emo rap style with a tinge of Midwest emo. Then it leads up to the super epic, angsty, powerhouse pop punk chorus. I think the lyrics are pretty important in this song. He recounts the time when he got so depressed that he had to cancel tour dates and he couldn't even write music. He says, I'm scared of going back. I remember every struggle, every panic attack. You saw the life inside my eyes fade away over time. I couldn't pick up a guitar. I couldn't think of a rhyme. All right, next up at number five, we got Bad Mood, Bad Year by Family Pet. So this is another what I would call a, a Midwest emo rap song with pop punk chorus. And that chorus, it's a chorus. It is super epic and it's just so cathartic when that full band kicks in and he's just singing, caught me in a bad place, bad mood, bad year. Now this song was released in 2017, but let me just say it hits a little bit different this year. Also the screams in the second verse are just like kind of unexpected, but they fit so well. They're very tastefully done. Number four, we've got I Know You Like Black Flag by Ricky himself. I talked about this song in my video from last week about 20 underrated emo songs, so here's a clip from that. The lyrics are a comical and blunt critique of punk culture. And you know when he starts a song off, 
There's nothing less punk than listening to punk rock. He is bringing in the heat. This very much sounds like a pop punk revival song. I could imagine, I don't know, Mod Sun doing something kind of like this. Also a great summer anthem and like the high pitched robotic auto tune in the pre-choruses definitely gives the song a neon feel. Number three, this one's a little bit of a surprise to me. We've got Won't Let This Go by Fatsy. <laughs> I can't explain it. I just love this song, and now I guess I'm gonna try to explain it. I, I don't think I've ever heard Midwest emo, math rock, pop punk, and emo rap all mixed together so beautifully in one song. Now, personally, I'm a guy who likes like big, anthemic, catchy choruses. The song's just not that. So I didn't really love it the first time I heard it, but I don't know, I just found myself listening to this one again and again and again to the point where I was shocked at how many times I wanted to listen to the song. And I think it's because it captures nostalgia, melancholy, and frustration so well. And next up at number two, we got Sick and Tired by Ian Dior featuring Machine Gun Kelly and Travis Barker. I've been losing my mind trying to figure it out, but I'm stuck in the drought. I guess I'll start again. This song is ridiculously catchy. It is one of the classics of the pop punk revival, in my opinion. The song actually came out before anything from MGK's Tickets to My Downfall, to put that into perspective. So even though Ian Dior doesn't put out a lot of his own pop punk songs, he is still a key member of the movement. All right, now, before I announce the number one SoundCloud punk song, we got three honorable mentions. These songs are not worse in quality than the top 10. I just think they didn't quite fit in because two of them are actually by EDM DJs featuring SoundCloud rappers with more of like pop punk influence. And then the other one is a pop punk remix of a SoundCloud rap song. All right, so first up, we've got First Time by Elenium featuring Ian Dior. We haven't met, but I know you're And next we got Halfway Dead by Steve Aoki featuring Global Dan and Travis Barker. And last but certainly not least, we have Falling Down by XXXTentacion and Lil Peep, remixed by, you guessed it, Travis Barker. Now. For the number one, freshest, hottest, pop punk banger on the planet, we have none other than SOS by Swaco featuring Travis Barker. <laughs> now we got an epic pop punk anthem. The chorus is so massive and so satisfying and the piano gives it this mainstream pop peel and the tempo change in the bridge is the icing on the cake making the song even more special than it already is. Now I am so glad that Travis Barker saw potential in him because Swaco is proving that he is a force to be reckoned with in the SoundCloud scene, in the pop punk scene, and in the music industry as a whole. So those are my top 10 pop punk songs by SoundCloud rappers. Let me know your favorites in the comments below. And if you can think of any great ones that are not on this list, be sure to let me know in the comments as well. I'm sure there are tons of songs that I missed just because there are so many pop punk songs right now, which is really great, exciting time. If you'd like to keep up with all that, then make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know when my videos come out. And if you found any songs on this list that you liked, be sure to return the favor and hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate that. That's all I got for today. So long and good night.